Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, I got one for you. All right, hit me. So you're the editor-in-chief of a major newspaper. Okay. And on the same day, the president is assassinated, there's a cure for AIDS, and they found definitive proof that Bigfoot is real. What would you put on the front page? Hmm. Okay. Well, it's between the president and the cure for AIDS. So not Bigfoot. Not Bigfoot. <laughs> okay, so what is it? Mm. I'm going to go with the cure for AIDS. All right. Good answer. Good answer. What would you put on the front? Mm. Mm. I'd do the president getting assassinated. No. That's what I figured you'd choose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a personality test. The option you choose says a lot about who you are. Well, I think the first two say something different than if you were to pick the third. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's definitely between the first two options. You can eliminate Bigfoot almost immediately. <laughs> Who would pick Bigfoot over the other two? Mm. You remember Rachel? Yeah. She lived down the street from me. I asked her this question once. She chose Bigfoot. Really? <laughs> well, that's, funny. that's funny. I know, right? <laughs> Isn't she like a lesbian now? I don't know. Yeah, I heard after high school she, like, shaved her head and became a lesbian. Oh, I didn't hear about that. And she's, like, really weird now. Um, it doesn't really work like that. Work like what? You don't just become a lesbian. No, that's what I heard. After her dad died, she got all weird and shaved her head. I mean, I'm sure her dad's death affected her, but she was always a lesbian. I was friends with her all throughout high school, and she wasn't then. She probably just didn't realize it, or she didn't want to tell you, and I can see why. What's that supposed to mean? Just, sometimes gay people <clears throat> don't want to tell the people they know because they're afraid of how they'll react. I was friends with her in high school. She would have told me if she was gay. Okay, you don't just become gay. I'm telling you, she wasn't gay in high school. She liked guys and everything. Or maybe she felt pressured by society and her friends to behave a certain way, so she modified her behavior to fit a heteronormative mold because that's just what's expected of her. But the whole time she feels like she's just putting on an act. Are we still talking about Rachel? Never mind. How's your slushie? It's good. I never understood how you like that flavor. Blue raspberry is just gross. Yeah, well, I'll never understand why you like <clears throat> cherry, but I'm not going to hold it against you. I didn't say I was holding it against you. Yeah. You never said that. What? Nothing. It's getting late. I should probably go home and finish my homework. Okay, I'll drive you home. Thanks.